teeth, gray goose dripping in the bathroom, blood stains, ball gowns, trash in the hotel room. We don't care. We're driving Cadillac. For the 56th Annual Grammy Awards held January 28, 2014, Lord received a total of four nominations. Her album Pure Heroin was up for Best Pop Vocal Album, and her song Royals was up for Record of the Year, Song of the Year, and Pop Solo Performance. She performed on the telecast, and afterwards she was asked how she was feeling about notching four nominations. Um, I don't know if I can accurately describe it. I mean, this isn't the kind of thing that happens to people from New Zealand, so <laughs> I'm feeling good. It's good. Thank you. Someone in the press room then asked her incredulously if people in New Zealand were familiar with the Grammy Awards. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we've got the internet, so everyone's covered. It's all good. <laughs> Lord also acknowledged what a Grammy means to someone's career. Well, that's the thing. It's so prestigious. Everyone in the industry pays attention to this award, and it's just the highest honor, um, and I, I don't know, I couldn't be more grateful. <laughs> Even co-nominee Keith Urban, who was also born in New Zealand, had good things to say about music's new heroine. She's incredible. I mean, she's absolutely deeply, deeply gifted. And that song, I mean, Royals is just a, it's a work of art. Lord has had a crossover behemoth as she is on the pop, alternative, and urban charts, which is an extremely tough feat. Her new song team is currently working its way up the alternative rock chart, and it's a matter of time before it crosses over to the pop genre.